Hello my loves Welcome to a new ASMR Reiki session Today's session has been requested by a number of different people I'll have your comments up on the screen here um, So today's session is going to be a bit different It'll be a tutorial style session So I'll still be doing Reiki on you But today I am going to teach you how to do it on yourself as well I think it's really great to have Reiki as part of your daily practice For me it really helps me to get grounded in my own body again to help me resolve any energy blockages Before we get into the session itself I just want to share a few words on Reiki so that you have a little bit of a historical background before you start practicing it yourself So if you're re-watching this video you can hover over the timeline below here and just skip to the actual tutorial So Reiki was rediscovered by Dr. Usui a Japanese um, professor in the late 1800s and I say rediscovered because he was reading Sanskrit texts where he found passages and symbols that had to do with energy healing It's quite a long story so I won't tell the whole story but he basically um, figured out or rediscovered the ancient practice of Reiki or energy healing um, and then decided to start using it on people and teaching other people about it Reiki means life force energy so it's energy that flows through us it's energy that flows through everything that is sentient in this world so it is a energy that we all have access to because it's all flowing through us now sometimes due to lifestyle factors and stressors and stuff like that our energy gets blocked um, so it's really nice to have a daily practice it's kind of like combing your hair or brushing your teeth um, just taking care of yourself on an energetic level um, so that you live in the highest alignment and that your body remains as healthy as possible so I will be showing you guys a couple of different hand positions that you can use on yourself the nice thing about Reiki is that it's not so much a process of the analytical mind, it's more so an intuitive process So, even though I will be teaching you guys different hand positions I encourage you to be very intuitive in your approach when doing Reiki on yourself So, just see these hand positions as a buffet an array of hand positions that you can choose from um, you can make up your own I really encourage you to listen to your body and allow your body to move your hands to where it needs the energy the most so that was my little introduction let's get started with the practice I will light an incense to kind of, in a ritual way, open the practice You don't have to do this yourself You actually don't need anything to be able to do Reiki on yourself I just really like it to clear the energy but also as a trigger for my mind to know that Reiki is coming It's time to relax and to turn inward 
for today. I chose the Rose Angel um, incense. And I chose the Rose Angel because roses to me symbolizes love and Reiki energy at its core is pure universal. Also, just to the left of my eye, this will be the only loud sound in today's session. The rest will just be hand movements and my voice. sitting somewhere comfortable. I'm sitting where I normally do my morning meditation and Reiki practice. And once you're comfortable, make sure you're sitting upright, shoulders back, and then start guiding your breath deeper and further down towards your low back. to bring you back to the present moment. Allow yourself to get lost in the sound of your breath. And everything else fades to the is your time for yourself. of the session. So, the Reiki energy comes out of our palms, the middle of our palms. So, we'll be using our hands and slightly cupping them to guide the energy to the different places. The first hand movement is this one. So, you place your hands over your eyes fingers come together, so you make a sort of a small triangle. You want to make sure that you're covering your eyes and your third eye as well. And then it really depends on your intuition as to how long you stay in a certain position. Most of the times they say anywhere between 3 to 10 minutes, but it's really completely up to you. Do this to you, and you can decide whether you want to have your hands touching your body or whether you want to be hovering a couple of centimeters away from your skin. And while you have your hands placed here. Bring your attention to your eyes, your 
forehead. And draw in that loving energy towards those parts of your body. Giving thanks to your eyes for giving you the ability to see. Giving thanks to your brain for all the processing that it does during the day, during the night. There is so much about our body that we take for granted. We forget how magical our body truly is. So it's really nice to take those couple of minutes in the morning to say thanks to every part of your body. So feel free to stay in this position for a little while longer. I'm going to move over to the second hand position, which is the one by your jaw. There are a couple different variations. Some people like to have their wrists together. I like to cover my ears, so I bring it a little bit higher up and I follow the line of my jaw that I have fingertips covering my ears. And again, you can choose whether you're touching your face or whether you're hovering. Personally, I like the hovering better. It's almost like I can feel the transference of energy better, but it's completely up to you. So, I'm just going to have my hands covering your ears as well. And again, bringing love to those parts of your body, to your jaw, to your ears for the ability that they give you to hear. Saying things to your teeth for allowing you to chew and to start the digestion process of food. Become really aware of those parts of your body. Notice the air sitting on your skin. So, that was the second hand placement. The third one is the back of the head. So you have one hand that's here, the top of your neck, and the other hand that cradles the um, cranium, so it cradles the lower part of your skull. And again, you can choose whether your hands are touching you or not. This position might be a little bit harder if you're not very flexible in your shoulders and through the armpits. I'm going to come a little bit closer and place my hands behind you. And again, just bring awareness to those parts of your body. Saying thanks to your skull for protecting your brain to keep it safe. And being grateful for your neck for supporting your head.
You could imagine the Reiki entering every individual cell, filling it with love and warmth and kindness, appreciation for what it does. And if you want to, you can pause the video at any time and stay longer in spots where you want to remain or linger for a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to go through them fairly quickly, not super quickly, but fairly quickly to make sure the video isn't too, too long. So the next one is right by the throat. Again, there are different placements. Some people like to have one hand in front one in the back. Some people like to go around like this. Personally, I prefer to have my hands right in front, kind of like a shield in front of my throat. Um, and sending energy basically not only to my throat chakra, but everything um, around my throat. So, I'll do that with you now. And while you're here and sending Reiki to your throat, see if you can elongate your neck a little bit more, creating space between each vertebra, allowing the skin of your neck to soften. And sometimes it's really nice to actually pull some energy from certain parts of the body. A lot of times um, when an energy center is either blocked or overactive, you'll kind of feel this static energy first where it's like, you know when you have those old televisions and they have static, it's kind of like white noise. It's all over the place and it's not really flowing well. What you want to do first is stay there for a while until you feel the energy softening and then it's quite nice to actually sometimes pull energy. If you feel like there's a blockage or there's too much energy. So, just pulling any excess energy out. Doing this daily is really nice because you get to know your body better on an energetic level. For example, I know for myself my throat and my heart are usually the places that have the most static energy. They kind of get clogged up or filled up quite easily. Whereas my sacral a lot of times is under Then moving on from the throat, we're going to the shoulders. Again, you can place either your hands onto your skin or you can hover. And normally they teach you to have the hands quite close to the throat, but you can have them further out as well if you feel like maybe you have more tension towards the end of your shoulders rather than um, the curve here where it goes into your have my hands on your shoulders, just hovering, not touching. Again, giving thanks to your shoulders for everything that they carry, physically and metaphysically. Sending love to your skin, 
your muscles, your bones, filling every cell with love and life force energy. Allowing it to spread and spread further and deeper down into your body. Next up is the heart. I like to have my hands horizontal like this. You can have them together like that, but it's kind of more awkward for your wrists. So it's nice to have them horizontal like this instead. And here I'm sending energy to my heart chakra, but also everything around it. Again, this is usually a nice place as well to pull some energy from, especially um, if you're going through heartbreak or you feel a lot of feelings <laughs> surrounding um, relationships and you just feel overwhelmed emotionally, sometimes it's nice as well to pull some of that energy out. Allow the skin of your chest to soften, allowing the Reiki energy in. Feel the love spreading from your heart further out into your body. Okay. Now I'm going to some energy here as well. You can also use the selenite wand to pull out energy. I find that I feel it with selenite the most when I'm um, doing crystal healing on myself. But again, you don't actually need any tools to do Reiki. I just personally like to combine it with in your heart, anything that is blocking your heart from receiving healthy love, anything that is blocking your heart from giving love to other people. Then we have our hands placement underneath the ribs. I'll have a picture here on the side since the frame won't, you know, capture my whole body. Um, for that one, we just have our hands basically on each side um, of your rib cage, the lower part. And here we're targeting your stomach, your liver, but also the solar plexus chakra. Sending love and gratitude to your stomach for digesting your food, or at least partially digesting your food. Sending love and healing to your liver for keeping our bodies clean, detoxifying anything that does not benefit our body. And if a particular area in your body feels very stagnant, you could imagine the chakra spinning onto itself. So, all the chakras except for your crown and your root chakra have an entry point in the front and the back. 
So you can imagine um, the chakra spinning clockwise for your own body. So for me, that's this way, but it'll look counterclockwise for you guys. Spinning onto itself like this, with an entry point at the front and the back of the body. So all the chakras, except for your crown and your root chakra, have their entry point horizontal. Right? Front and back. Crown and root chakra have their entry point vertical. So they would spin this way instead of this way. I hope that visually makes sense for you guys. So if you're not feeling a whole lot in the area, you don't feel really any flow of energy, just imagine that chakra spinning onto itself, creating a gentle flow of energy to help things moving. say in Reiki that a healthy person has a strong and a good flowing um, ki or chi or prana. Many different words depending on what culture you come from, but it's all the same. Okay, then we move down to your sacral, which is just below your belly button. Same as hand placement, we just the two hands um, next to each other, but this time we're just below your belly. So this correlates to your um, colon. Sending that warm, loving energy to your colon for all the digesting that it does. Gives you the ability to absorb all of the goodness that comes from your food. Gives you the ability to absorb the life force energy from the food that you eat. The last one is the root chakra, which there are a few different hand placements for that as well, depending whether you are giving someone Reiki or doing it on yourself. Obviously, if you're doing it on yourself, you can just be a bit closer in because it's very close to your private parts. So if you're doing it on someone else, a lot of times we just have the hands on the outsides of the hips and send the energy that way. We're just hovering by the outsides of the hips. If you're just doing it on yourself, you can have your hands on your lap instead. So I'm just going to have my hands here on the outside of your hips. And right now we're sending love and healing energy to your reproductive organs, your bladder, the bones that make up your hips, and your tailbone. So the very bottom part of your spine. I like to imagine my hips as a bowl. So when I'm doing Reiki on myself, I just imagine that bowl slowly filling up with loving energy. Making sure I don't miss any little crannies and nooks. Alright. Then there are two more placements on your back. There is one just at the top of your Hips, the ridge of the bones there that you can feel that hard bit just on there and you have your hands right on there and this is basically targeting the back side of your sacral chakra but also the organs that lay more at the back of your body so that is one again I'm gonna come in closer here and 
that my hand's just hovering um, on your low back. And then we're going to move the hands a little bit higher up to the middle back where your solar plexus would end here at the back and there as well you put your hands vertically next to each other and bring energy to those places and here we're targeting the adrenal glands parts of the spine as well Again, this might be slightly awkward for you to do if you don't have good mobility in your shoulders. But just know that Reiki energy will go wherever it's needed. So even if you can't physically touch it on your body, just try to get as close as possible to it. And bring your attention to the place where you want to send. we have two more hand positions now. We have one where we have our hands on our knees, just placed like that, sending energy to our kneecaps, um, but also from there sending energy up to the upper thighs and down um, towards your lower legs. So I'm just gonna have my hands on your kneecaps, actually not even on them, just hovering in front of them. For those of you who have issues with your knees, this might be really nice to send some energy to them daily. Again, always tapping into that place of loving, universal energy. Saying thanks to your knees, even though they might, at the moment, not work properly, or they might give you some trouble or pain. Saying thanks for everything that they still do for you. Sending love and healing. And just imagine all the cells that make up your skin, your muscles, your bones, softening. The cells are softening, inviting in that loving Reiki energy. And the very last one is having your hands on the sole of your foot. So it's really hard to do both feet at the same time. So normally we do one foot um, at a time. Again, it's completely optional whether you have your hand on the sole of your foot or just hovering. We'll start with the right foot first. So I just have my palm hovering a couple centimeters from the sole of your foot, your right foot, and we're sending, sending energy up from the sole of your foot towards the rest of your foot, your ankle, even going up to your calves, your shins, Saying thanks to your right foot for everything that it does for you, all the walking. If you do any sports that include your feet, running, swimming, climbing, so many things, right? Sending love to that part of your body for everything that it does for you on a daily basis. And then we're going to go over to your left foot. Again, I just have my hand, my palm, 
hovering in front of the solar but we're just below it the Reiki energy entering through the sole of your foot, spreading out to the top of your foot, your toes, your ankle, up to your left calf and shin. Sending extra love extra gratitude Okay So that was it for today's session We did I think about 13 hand placements together But again, I encourage you to be very intuitive every morning and just feel where your body's pulling your hands towards and stay there for as long as feels good to you so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial style video I will see you guys very soon